Well, let me, okay, so to kick it off, I mentioned for the business community, what I always find interesting is how many vulnerabilities we hear um, tied to consumer apps. It's like constant, it's daily. Um, but the, the risks associated with application security in the corporate environment are rather distinct. So can you talk a bit about um, the environment right now? What has shifted? Where you see generally, you know, the, the biggest risks for the uh, corporations in terms of application security and software? Yeah, I think you see it in a few places. And I know that um, it, it's something that we constantly hear in the news today is always ransomware, ransomware, ransomware. But uh, the other thing that you see is um, attackers are going after the biggest watering holes that they can go after. Um, the number of pull secure VPN uh, vulnerabilities that have been published recently, it's like, well, global companies use that. Um, and, and Outlook, again, uh, you know, those are things that uh, granted, a lot of them led in with espionage, but very quickly followed on, uh, you know, people that are trying to make money off of ransomware and companies and, and all of that. Um, crimeware gangs have, have followed suit very, very quickly. In fact, um, you know, advanced persistent threat used to mean state actors. I think today it means well-funded, well-organized criminal actors who are out to make a dollar um, or a Bitcoin in this case, and, and not just those state actors. Um, so, you know, in the past, and I think we still see this a little bit every now and then, as you'll hear of, oh yeah, consumer application for VPN in an app store that was really a backdoor into someone's phone. Mm -hmm. Sure, those things still happen. Um, and I think that they still get monetized, but more and more, I, I think that we're going to see attackers going after bigger footprint, bigger impact um, attacks, whether it's watering hole, uh, such as solar winds, uh, whether it's just technologies that are used ubiquitously like Outlook or Exchange, um, those are going to be the bigger return on investment for those kind of big game hunter attackers. And uh, they're able to move very, very fast. It's always a situation when you're in a defender standpoint where the predators will always evolve faster than the prey. Um, that's, that's what you see in nature. And I think you see it in, in business as well as there's always this kind of sense of acceptable risk. Um, but what you'll find is yeah, the, the attackers are going after the bigger games and they're catching them and, yeah. and they're catching them in to the millions of dollars. It's it's crazy.